Ah, I remember the last time we were in West Side. Vaguely. Oh wait, this is North Vegas Square, but apparently this is the way we're supposed to go. So ah! <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! He's back! Oh, Biggest Dave is back! I can't believe it! No, Biggest <laughs> Dave! No! No, <laughs> Biggest can't. Dave! Last you left Biggest Dave here! I, I forgot to remove the mod. <laughs> oh my god, Biggest Dave. Uh, god damn it, fucking Raiders. Come on, motherfucker, get some. Alright. <laughs> I like how the pipe shrunk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this North Vegas resident isn't even bothered in the slightest. I heard all over. Maybe she sees this every day. Well, our little layover in the north side of Vegas has yielded some interesting results. I'm sure the people will be happy. That we killed Biggest Dave again. I'm, I'm sure they'll be very pleased that that has been taken care of. Another thing we don't see enough of in the post-war apocalypse is carnival people. <laughs> you know, like bearded ladies, albinos, midgets. I feel like the future that was promised to us never happened. <laughs> I think he's right. <laughs> That's an interesting take on the future. I yeah, where's Master Blaster? What? Who rules Bata Town? All right. Anyway, let's go into Jarlsberg. I thought Jarlsberg was the name of the person, but I, I thought guess... Jarlsberg was the name of a person too. But uh, apparently, I was wrong. Oh, good. More subterranean floors. Mm, who could be down here? Morning. Oh God, you're all filthy. Oh, you're disgusting. Look at you. Your eyes are like yellow and just bloodshot. And, oh. Why is it the first thing you are drawn to is people's eyes? Dick, they're the window to the soul, Mike. Also, look at those track lines on his arms. How many drugs have you been doing? And you have jaundice. You disgust me, sir. Welcome to Jarlsberg. They call me Manchego. Whatever you want, I got it. Looking to buy? I'd like to buy some hype, please. You better buy it while you can. We're gonna run out soon with how many fiends and junkies are buying right now. I lied. We are not here to buy. We want you to stop selling the stuff, actually. It's a little too dangerous for the Mojave. Too many people are being killed. People that don't even deserve it. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We buy all of the hype, and then we sell the hype for more money than we paid for it. Oh, that's a good idea. We could become drug lords. And you know what we could do after that? Invite Niner to join our party. That's a fun idea, Zach. I'm sensing some hostility here. <laughs> Since you're so opposed to making money, we buy all of the drugs, we throw them in the river, the fish get high and float to the surface, we gather the fish, and then we sell the fish for money. The enraged drug fish? Yes! Actually, you know what? This is a terrible plan. We don't want snapping turtles on hype. <laughs> you probably should just stop selling this stuff. <laughs> what are you... The fun police? Do you have any idea how much I'm making off of this stuff? Woo, woo, woo! I'm the fun police. Stop having fun or you're under arrest. I'll send you to fun jail. Fun jail is where you go and you don't have any fun because it's actually just an empty concrete cell. It's really not fun at all. That's why it's fun jail. How about we do this instead? How about I knock all of your teeth out? And then we can talk about taking hype off the market. Hmm? Zach, we found you a new dentist! No, he's dead! You like that? You've killed your potential dentist! Yeah. I killed two of them. Wait, you killed two of your dentists? You kill your dentists. Not all of them. Only the ones that offend you? Isn't that right? Manchego. Alright, let's search Manchego. I just want to let you know that... Hype is sell- this is terrible. Hype is selling really well. I already sold at least 30 units of it this week. I'm estimating that in a month, every junkie from here to the boneyards will be flocking to New Vegas to get them some hype. Sure, the homicide rate will go up like 60%, but a little bit of murder never hurt nobody. Actually, I think that's the very definition of what murder does, is hurt people. Anyway, I was writing this letter to make sure that you were still in the same location. Your office is in the yellow room in Gamora, right? Just inside the main gambling hallway? Boss, I still have no idea how you run a drug distribution system right under Big Sal's nose and he has no idea. I guess that's what makes you the boss around here. Anyway, I'm just making sure that this is the right location in case I want to stop by and, and 
have a chat, maybe play some Animal Crossing. You know, tough guy shit. <laughs> Animal Crossing is tough guy shit. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, man, that game's hard. You gotta know right when to dig for fossils and whether to turn those fossils in to the museum or sell them for a profit. And you gotta, like, go check the beach every day to make sure that coconuts didn't wash up. Because if coconuts wash up on the beach, you gotta plant those little bastards. Because then they turn into coconut trees. And you sell the coconuts for profit. And also the seashells. Seashells are a great way to earn money. And there's a mystery rock that's in the village every single day that if you hit the mystery rock with a shovel, bags of bells come out of it. So you got to, like, dig holes around the rock so that you can't get knocked away from it while you're hitting it with a shovel. And then you just hit it, like, 20 or 30 times. You get, like, 3,000 bells a day for doing that. Aside from that raccoon that's trying to break your legs because you're not paying your rent money. I Tom don't... Nook is misunderstood. He's not trying to break your legs. He's an entrepreneur. P.S. I know that we're trying to stay down low. Do we really have to communicate using notes? What are we, classmates in junior high or some shit? I'm thinking we need a more effective means of communication. What would happen if some guy killed me and found this note? It would lead him right to you. Not saying you're doing anything wrong, boss. Just a suggestion is all I'm saying. Boy, it sure would it be a shame if somebody killed him and read that note. Oh, uh, we have grenade bouquets above our head. What, do we? Uh, yes, did you not see these? No, where? <laughs> They're everywhere. Oh, Lord. <laughs> There's no tripwires attached to them, apparently. They're just here. They're decorative bouquets. Well, I have some free grenades. I don't want to go to New Vegas. Let's go to the bakery. I want some donuts. Just got to find me some sweet Jed. No, no man. No, let's find you some sweet donuts. Plain cake donuts. They're the best. You say you want Jet, but have you tried this new drug? It's called Hype. It's even better. Bakery. Let's go. Oh, it's closed on Sundays. Damn it, but it's Wednesday. It's closed on Wednesdays, too! Damn it! It's closed every day of the week! Oh, because it's closed down for business. Hi, mean son of a bitch! We've met your friend! <laughs> Hi! Hello! What's a sexy mutant like you doing in a place like this? Yeah, what Mike said. Ha ha ha! I wash my bone with CB. I have Bogo. Phoebe's a rope. Goodbye! He has buy one, get one! <laughs> he has Bogo. <laughs> yeah. You know, mean son of a bitch doesn't really seem very mean. He seems kind of friendly, actually. Yes, well, I'm sure he was named that to intimidate the enemies of this place. Ah, uh, you know what? I bet you're right. Doesn't make sense to watch out for fluffy, friendly guy. There's a guy that's going around killing people, okay? Okay. He's a serial killer. Uh-huh. And nobody knows who he is. But the police keep getting letters that are from the Fluffy Cuddle Monster. The serial killer is named the Fluffy Cuddle Monster. <laughs> okay. Is it worse if he's named the Fluffy Cuddle Monster, or is it worse if he's named Demon of Denver Street? A rose by any other name takes fingernails and toenails just the same. No, 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 he doesn't want your fingernails, just toenails. Uh, uh, oh, good. Hello, robots. Don't mind us. Don't tase me, bros, just walking through. That's a nice dress. Thank you. It's actually a jacket with the NCR logo on the back. But oh, I, this I, lady. Oh, here, I thought you'd be complimenting me. Why are these NCR soldiers here? Because they have to guard the strip, so they're getting, like, really drunk. And they're trying to dance with this <laughs> stripper. The NCR women are getting into it, too. <laughs> well, this... Keep in mind, ladies, this is what happens when you get drunk. You st oh, she's waving. <laughs> That's not the proper way to do a strip tease, but okay. <laughs> I don't know. You, you think the stripper is happy to have the company up there? Probably. She, she probably doesn't have a whole lot of... Oh, oh there they go. Oh. They, they got shy. <laughs> oh, no, they're gonna go dance with this stripper. <laughs> no, they're going in to get drunk. People around here just love getting drunk. Yeah, yeah, dance, one random lady. <laughs> Boy, I really am aroused here in broad daylight. Look at this tent I'm pitching. <laughs> Check out this lady. High five, bro. <laughs> Yay. I appreciate the female body. Don't walk away. Let me show you the time of your life. No, I already had the time of my life. It was in Iraq, and I was... Oh, she's just gone. This is why <laughs> women don't pay attention to me. <laughs> Can you imagine that the strippers don't really want to hear your boring war stories? Hello. So, uh... Come here often? <laughs> so those handcuffs look expensive. I bet they're pretty costly, huh? Oh my god, is this guy just gonna give me five bucks or what? <laughs> Did the casino supply you with those, or did you have to pay for them yourself? Because if you have to pay for them yourself, they're technically tax-deductible. <laughs> what shoe size are you? <laughs> Look at that one on the back, teleporting forward. Whoa, that's like a crazy new type of moonwalk. Holy crap, that's amazing! 
Take all of my money! <laughs> you know you want a piece of this. Sorry, no, the other one impresses more with her crazy dance moves. Today, Zack demonstrates things you shouldn't say to strippers. Excuse me, Mrs. Hooker, did you know that gender is a social construct? Um. I should be stripping for you, and you should be paying me! What's your favorite type of bridge? Is it suspension or causeway? How many times have you been to a, uh, like, VD clinic? Wow, what a boner killer. Guess she's doing it again! It's so weird! <laughs> <laughs> I do like your outfit, but I must say, not enough saucepans over your boobs. You've gotta have more cookware over your body. That's the sexiest outfit. Sometimes when my underwear's really dirty, I just turn it inside out instead of putting it in the laundry. Oh, look, she's gonna do it again. She's gonna do it again. She just shows, like, every ten minutes. <laughs> watch, 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 watch. This is my favorite part. Get up. Oh, oh yeah. she's not here for your amusement, Zach. Actually, she is. She is a stripper. Give me some sugar. I don't have any sugar. I think I might have some Splenda, though. Maybe some non-dairy creamer? She didn't ask for creamer. She asked for sugar. Well, obviously, she wants to have some coffee. That's why she's asking. That looks like it would cause chafing. No, you gotta tape over your nips to prevent chafing. I meant the chain. Oh, I meant the tape, because obviously that's what you do if you're gonna run a marathon. You put tape over your nipples so they don't bleed. Did you not know that? I think it would, the tape would just peel off from sweating. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. You'll get these back on your way out. Alright, cool, whatever. Jerk. Maybe if we tell Big Sal that he's got someone selling drugs under his nose in here, he'll take care of the problem for us. Ooh, that's a good idea, then I... How come you get to keep your gun? <laughs> Welcome to Gamora. How can I help you? One gambling, please! Here's your chips. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, I'm done! Have a good time, and good luck. Are you gonna gamble that money we took from Mr. Barrels? Yes! All 9,000 caps? All 9,000 caps! Let's play some blackjack. You've got an ace and an eight, so that's a pretty bad hand, actually. Well, hit then. It's even worse. Ah, you lost everything. Well, well this sucks! Okay. If I had my gun, I'd kill you! <laughs> Ooh, penny slots, big spender. Holy yeah. crap, you can use the slot machines in this game? Okay, you didn't know that? No! Why did you think that gambling, with your luck, was a good idea? Oh, I'll win eventually. Why do you keep thinking it's a good idea? I'll win- See, I won 12 chips! Oh, you've almost recuperated everything you've lost. Mike, I've lost so many times, I have to win eventually. I'm owed it. And... there they go. Hit <sighs> me! Hit me! And you lost. Everything. How did I lose?! NCR should do their fucking job. FDR should do his job, I agree. <laughs> That lazy person always lounging around in a wheelchair. Yeah, what a jerk. Where am I going? Do we want to go in here and confront this guy? Let's just go confront him. And this room isn't yellow. Oh, light machine gun. Just laying here on the pool table for you? Well, it's nice that they would give you a firearm for this confrontation. I think it's called the yellow room because they're all wearing yellow. That eh, might be why. Oh, is this who I'm supposed to talk to? Monterey Jack. Why are you all named after Jesus? I heard you took out my man, Manchego. No, it wasn't me. You must have some kind of balls waltzing into my office. Sometimes they dunk into the toilet. Are you in charge of the distribution of hype, sir? I run the hype trade here in New Vegas. And it looks like you've caused me quite a bit of trouble. Your suit looks like oil stains. We don't mean to offend you, Monty, but it does look like you've rolled around in a puddle of oil. Yeah, it's got that kind of weird iridescent coloring to it. Why would you sell such a dangerous drug? Why does anybody do anything in this town? It makes a ton of money. People want it, and we got it. Supply and demand, my friend. Before we resort to violence and murder everyone in here with this gun you have so kindly provided, can we convince you to stop selling the stuff? Stop selling? Are you kidding? Boy, I wouldn't give up hype for all the money in Mr. House's will. There's just too much money to be made. Um, <laughs> is every character in this mod voiced by the same guy? Seriously? Eh, uh, mm, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> From a mod maker's standpoint, that seems really lazy, actually. Couldn't get a decent voice actor. You couldn't find more than one person willing to do voices? Maybe your dad, I don't know, anyone, yeah. really. 
Yeah, when you're just one developer, you gotta take what you can get. And also, uh, Steve Blum won't answer any of my emails, so... Uh, <laughs> Back to the topic at hand. Yeah. Uh, how are you able to run this drug trade without the other Omerita bosses finding out? All right, enough with the random questions. You're starting to bother me. <laughs> What's your opinion on the current political climate change of the Mojave? That's enough. I said cut it out. <laughs> You're really getting on my nerves now, kid. What's your opinion of the NCR? If two trains are leaving Las Vegas Boulevard at the same time, when will they- Ugh, I've heard it. Hey, henchman, ice this guy. If this goes on any longer, oh, I'm gonna get a migraine. Oh man, I should actually leave you alone. Those are pretty bad. Uh oh! Ah! Ah! Zach, now is the perfect time to use some hype! I'm doing some hype! Oh god, it feels so good! Ah! I don't do drugs anymore! I'm high on life! <laughs> Zach, I took some of this hype. Oh, you shouldn't have done that, man. You didn't didn't you see what happened when I did it? Yeah, it didn't do anything for me. I think you were exaggerating. Oh. I think you just wanted an excuse to go on a rampage! I think you wanted an excuse to kill innocent people! Um... What? Is that I'm a- I'm scared! <laughs> it's a laser gun! Apparently this revolver is a plasma weapon. That's weird and also kind of cool. Obviously breaks the immersion, but hey, I think we're way beyond that point. Yeah, I think so. Mike, there's a lot of hype up here. It's a good thing we found out that it doesn't do anything, or maybe I'm just immune to the effects. Yes, yes, clearly you are immune to the effects of hype, Mike. I guess we didn't have to kill this guy after all. It was a simple misunderstanding. But now that we've killed him, let's loot everything we can find. Now that we've killed him, no backsies. I mean, I've already fired the arrow, and nothing more can be done. What a nice fountain of blood! If you're reading this, then I'm dead. That's right. I've been secretly carrying around this note in my pocket for years on the off chance that someone manages to kill me. If you pick this up, then you're probably the bastard that killed me. And let me just say, screw you and your fat ass. Or you could be an Omerta who found this on my body. If that's the case, tell Big Sal he can suck a fat one. You may think you've ended this, but this is only the beginning. Hype will one day take over the Mojave drug trade, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. This may be the end of the chapter, but there is more to come. The Mojave will never be the same. This is your friend from beyond the grave, Monterey Jack, Master of Cheeses. Master of Cheeses sounds like a song by a really bad Metallica cover band. <laughs> Can't wait to hear that one. Cheese Talica. Cheese Talica. <laughs> I guess we're we're done. I, I guess we have ended the drug trade for hype. Yeah. Well, I guess we could stick around and. Oh God! What? No! 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 Oh my God! They're back! How did you guys get in here? They're supposed to take your weapons! Yeah, How did security let you through? Our security just said that we could come through with our spears because the spears technically aren't a weapon by FAA stiffness. <laughs> <laughs> oh good! Now everyone's shooting at us. Are we? No, I think it's just a few more. Maybe? Maybe? No. No, no. everyone's shooting at us. The whole Gamora is hostile. You've now. killed those guys! They were our best. Customers, they were that's paying shit. patrons. They were high rollers. How dare you? Oh, that's shit shit there. right there. This time traveler. Time traveler, you yeah, say? Yeah, that's right there. Time traveler. Oh. See? Time traveler. He has come from a time period where guns don't exist, which is why he's not intimidated by you pointing a gun at his head. Also, while he's wearing a hipster do-rag on his head. <laughs> he's postmodern. I'm come from the future, where do-rags are cool again. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> oh, it's that lady with a nice dress. Thanks, it has pockets. <laughs>